The Descendants are a fabled pop punk band from Southern California. Since their formation in 1977, they have been pioneers of the genre and have influenced countless other bands with their fast, catchy melodies and snotty lyrics. We didn't know how else to be. We, we, all we could do is be ourselves. But, but ourselves is not, a, is not like doesn't make for a good punk rock band. Despite facing setbacks and lineup changes over the years, the Descendants have remained fiercely independent and committed to their do-it-yourself roots. Okay, the Blasting Room. It's, yeah, 22 years ago, we built a studio called the Blasting Room, and we produce a lot of bands uh, that have some kinship to our band. I, I, I hate the term pop punk, but you know, a lot of it tends to be fast stuff. People drink coffee and play distorted guitars and sing melodies over it. The Descendants' impact on pop punk can be seen in many ways. First and foremost, they are credited with helping to establish the sound and aesthetic of pop punk as a distinct subgenre of punk rock. Their fast-paced, high-energy, and melodic songs set the template for many pop punk bands that followed, including Green Day, Blink-182, and The Offspring. Furthermore, the Descendants' influence can be heard in the vocal style of many pop-punk singers. Lead singer Milo Ackerman's distinctive nasal vocals have been imitated by countless pop-punk vocalists over the years, including Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day and Mark Hoppus of Blink-182. Like many long-running bands, the Descendants have had their fair share of internal conflicts and issues over the years. Some of the most notable problems within the band have included lineup changes, creative differences, and personal disagreements. One of the biggest issues for the Descendants was the departure of their original guitarist, Frank Nevetta, in 1983. Nevetta was a founding member of the band and played on their first two albums, but he left the band due to creative differences and a desire to focus on his family. His departure was a blow to the band, but they continued on with new guitarist Ray Cooper. Another major issue for the Descendants was the tension between lead singer Milo Ackerman and drummer Bill Stevenson. The two had a falling out in the late 1980s and early 1990s, with Ackerman leaving the band to pursue a career in biochemistry and Stevenson focusing on his other band, All. The band went on hiatus for several years but eventually reunited in the late 1990s with Ackerman and Stevenson reconciling their differences. Additionally, the Descendants have had some personal disagreements over the years. For example, in the early 2000s, bassist Carl Alvarez and guitarist Steven Egerton became embroiled in a legal dispute with their former manager over royalties and control of the band's music. The issue was eventually resolved, but it caused some tension within the band. Despite these problems, the Descendants have managed to stay together for over 40 years and continue to tour and record new music. Their dedication to their music and their fans has helped them overcome the challenges that come with being in a band for so long, and they remain an important and influential band in the punk rock and pop punk genres. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.